Hey guys, happy Saturday. I came across a lip balm from e.l.f. that I forgot I had purchased a while ago. I thought I would give it a try. I'm actually gonna have my Athletic Greens drink. I love starting my day out with that. Today's video is in partnership with Athletic Greens. So those of you who've been wanting to try it out, make sure you check the description box because if you use my link, I have a great offer for you guys. You can get a little something extra. Anyways, I bought this actually in Target a while ago as a shop with me tax. Whenever I do one of my shop with me videos, I always buy something because, you know, I'm basically using the store as a filming studio, so I feel a little guilty. Anyways, I bought this. Um, it looked promising, but the thing about this, it's called Calm Bomb, and the packaging and everything about it kind of suggests that it might have CBD in it but it doesn't. So CBD, I've talked about this in other videos. There is some research to suggest that it's anti-inflammatory when applied to the skin. It can help with itch. Really some promising preliminary data suggesting that it may be helpful for things like eczema, psoriasis, and even acne, but the data are still pretty limited. However, that doesn't stop skincare companies from, you know, CBD this, CBD that, CBD this, that, the other. When I originally picked this up, I thought, Oh, it's a CBD lip balm. <laughs> but then when I got it home and looked very carefully at the packaging, there's no CBD in this. It's hemp seed oil. You have to be careful. Um, so CBD comes from the cannabis sativa plant, but it specifically comes from the stems, the leaves, and the flowers. Whereas um, hemp seed oil is the seed oil from the cannabis sativa plant, and there's no CBD in the hemp seed oil. Now, hemp seed oil is beneficial in skincare. It's got omega fatty acids, linoleic acid, a variety of vitamins, nutrients, things that are helpful for the skin barrier. So it's not unreasonable as far as an ingredient. I just, I don't know. The way that this was kind of advertised, the packaging, it really sort of hinted that there might be CBD in it. It's pretty emollient. You know, when it comes to lip balms, mm, that's not bad. There's no fragrance either. When it comes to lip balms, I really prefer to have a good occlusive ingredient. The skin on the lips, the vermilion, the top layer, the stratum corneum, is much thinner than the stratum corneum on, on other areas of the face, and it's already has a lower water content. The barrier there is a lot thinner, makes them more prone to dryness. So I like something that can really seal in transepidermal water loss on the lips like petrolatum. So I love just using plain Vaseline or the CeraVe healing ointment, but this is not bad. February of last year, I was shopping around for a new multivitamin and at the recommendation of a friend, I discovered Athletic Greens. I've been taking it every day since and it's perfect for squaring away my nutritional needs. I love to have it first thing in the morning and it's just part of my daily ritual now. It's a nutritional supplement bundle and just one easy scoop. With 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients, honestly, you'd be hard pressed to find a more nutrient dense formula on the market. Unfortunately, not all supplements are created equal, but why I keep coming back to Athletic Greens is their obsession with ingredient quality. Their selection of ingredients is such to optimize nutrient absorption. They only choose the most bioavailable forms of each vitamin, mineral, and whole food sourced ingredient. And they're NSF certified for sport, which means that they undergo annual lab testing to prove that the contents of the product match what's on the label and the strengths and levels listed on the label. And also their facilities are annually audited for quality. And the NSF certification guarantees that there are no contaminants, things like heavy metals. It's 100% keto and paleo friendly, vegan, gluten-free, egg-free, nut-free, and dairy-free. There are no artificial colors or sweeteners. When my friend was telling me to check out Athletic Greens, I was initially a little doubtful because honestly, I've tried a lot of these green drinks in the past and they're always kind of bitter or chalky. But Athletic Greens has just a subtle vanilla taste and is very smooth. Plus it dissolves pretty quickly in water and there are no clumps and you don't have to like get out a blender or a whisk or anything. It's just easy to shake up into the water bottle. So many of you have commented that you started taking Athletic Greens after seeing it in my videos and that you love it. It's part of your daily routine as well. If you haven't checked out Athletic Greens though, click the link in my description box because right now you can get up to one year of immune supporting vitamin D plus five individual travel packs of the Ultimate Daily for free with your first purchase. So definitely take advantage of that. It's a great way to square away your daily nutritional needs. 
Well, hey guys, I'm on my way to curl hair, and I want to chat with you all about shorts. You may have noticed I've been uploading to shorts lately. What are shorts? Short little videos, anywhere from 30 seconds, I think, or 15 seconds to 60 seconds. And YouTube has rolled this out. I think everybody has it available now, and it's a separate area of YouTube, but as a creator, when you upload a short, it appears on your feed. And it's meant to be shot like on an iPhone, vertical format. It's to compete with TikTok and Reels on Instagram. Anyways, I've been doing them and you guys really seem to love them. A lot of you are like, thank you so much. I love these little short to the point clips. Uh, but I just wanted to share with you guys, these are not going to be a replacement for my regular content. So if you were freaked out about that, like what is she doing? Is she changing things? No. It's merely meant to supplement the content that I have with a form that is more accessible to people who prefer those little short snippets. Some people just don't have the time to sit down and watch a 20, you know, a 10 to 20 minute video. They just want something quick and to the point and that is exactly what Shorts is intended to, that is the audience that Shorts is intended for. And um, Shorts will appear, Shorts is a separate section actually of YouTube. It uh, is like a feed that you can watch on your phone and you can just view Shorts and scroll through and watch them. And so it's a separate section of YouTube. Now, as a creator, when you create create a short, it appears in your regular subscription feed. So those of you who subscribe to my channel or visit my channel page regularly, you will see them appear and they're real informal looking. I, I'm not making special thumbnails for them. The other advantage, in my opinion, is that I'm already creating this type of content on Instagram and on TikTok. And a lot of you guys do not want anything to do with those platforms, I don't blame you. You're like, I just don't want to have all that social media in my life. So this is a way that you guys out there can see that content without having to go to those platforms. Massage and base. Speaking of massage, I have this shiatsu back massager thing that I got on the Amazonian. It was actually a gift, but I think it came from Amazon. I It was given to me. And that thing, at first I was like, eh, it's going to be whatever. It is amazing. Like, sometimes when I, after a long run, I'll have a little bit of just achiness, soreness in my, like, hips, pelvic girdle area. And that thing just releases the muscle tension. And it is, it is amazing. There's pretty good lighting here right now. I'm gonna show you guys what this Cetaphil sunscreen looks like. I carry it around with me in my bag. Um, so I'm gonna apply a little bit right now just so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm not gonna do like a full face or anything cause I applied before I came out. But I have been so impressed with this drugstore mineral sunscreen. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is not cast free. I don't think as I said, you really can't get 100% cast free, but this is pretty, pretty good. I'm only doing this one side so you guys can kind of see the contrast. I mean, it's not perfect or anything, but I've really been happy as can be with this. So that is, that is what it looks like. Anyways, comment below. Have you guys used this one? I have an update for you guys. You weighed in on the status of my succulent about how I should take care of it. I took your suggestions, but Unfortunately, he doesn't seem to be doing too well. So I got this adorable mister. Isn't it cute? I got it on the Amazonian. Um, it's kind of like green and gold glass. I love it. It's really cute. And then suggestion number two is that he needed a lot of sun. So I moved him over here, but I don't know. He's looking a little, a little queasy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna fold some laundry because this morning I did laundry, put it in the dryer, and then promptly forgot about it. So now I have to fold it. Status of my life. These t-shirts, <clears throat> comfort colors, highly recommend them. They are really comfortable and they come in a variety of colors, just like the name implies. I got another pair of pajamas from the Amazonian. I haven't worn them yet, I just have them laying here the same cut of the ones that have the little hearts on them and then the pineapple ones, but I got some camo ones. So I shared with you guys that I declutter my skincare. I know the lighting and angle in here is terrible, but it's what we have to work with. Um, 
Oh God, that's even worse. <laughs> I declutter my skincare pretty frequently because I'm never gonna use that in time. And there are people out there who need those things. So I, that's why I like to go through my stuff and donate things that I have duplicates of. I don't really do that so often with my clothing because I wear my clothing to the ground. I don't really wear, I don't really have anything in my closet that I would like, I don't have anything in my closet that, yes, I have things that I no longer wear and it's time to pack, like get, get rid of, but it's never the case where it's in good enough condition to really donate to someone. Like last year I donated a bunch of like very worn clothing to this um, woman who was going around collecting it to take to some kind of a recycling thing. And I don't know how, I think I found her through the grapevine and I don't know if she's still doing that, but that was a really good thing because I just wear my clothes until they're like, like for example, these shorts that I get on Amazon, I love these. I'm wearing, the, the ones I have on now are green and then I have this pink, and blue Lisa Frank pattern as I call it. Um, I have them in a variety of colors and they are just so comfortable. And my latest obsession are these sweatshirts by Hanes. They're comfort wash. It's a men's sweatshirt. These shorts I also have been really into. They're like yoga shorts. I have this black pair and a gray pair. These are a little, these are longer than than the whatever Coliseum ones. So if you don't, the Coliseum ones aren't cheeky. You can comfortably wear the Coliseum ones out and not like share too much. <laughs> um, but if you're not comfortable with short shorts, these are more of a mid-ish thigh. And they have pockets and a drawstring. So I really like those. This is another shop that I rather enjoy. Um, it is actually kind of a crop top, but I find if I wear it with high waisted shorts, then it's not so much of a crop top. Um, it's cute. It's got a little like knotty tuck there. It's very flattering. It looks good. It will look good with um, like a, it'll look good with like a pencil skirt in the fall. It's just kind of a multi-season style shirt. These I bought last summer and I've been wearing them. I got them from ASOS. They were having like a massive sale at the end of the summer and since it stays hot here into like October, November, I was like whatever I'm gonna take advantage of that. And they have held up pretty well. They're high-waisted. They have this little do-nothing belt their elastic waistband. They're cute for just skimming around. These pants I find very comfortable. They're Jessica Simpson, although they're kind of pilly at this point. See, when I say pill, when I'm talking about sunscreen, this is what I mean. It's something that happens to fabrics when you like sweaters and stuff. It's like little balls that come up. See what I mean? That is pilling, P-I-L-L-I-N-G. When I say that, that's what I'm talking about when I use that term to describe sunscreen, when it like rolls up off of your skin, peeling. Some people are like, are you, do you mean peeling? Cause some people who have a, I'm out of focus. Some people who have a certain type of Southern accent, they <clears throat> will sometimes say I L type words, e like eel, <laughs> I don't know. So I think people think that I'm saying peeling is peeling, peeling, peeling. I don't know. Ah, uh, so I'm out of the shower and I just finished my facial and body skincare routine, which basically is moisturizers to face and body and then Retin-A to my face. Now I'm gonna come in with the Eucerin Roughness Relief to my feet before I put on my socks. My feet are actually pretty much dry, there's no dry in the sense that they're not dripping wet but anyways so I put that on and then I put my socks on over it and I sleep like this and that way it drives the urea into the callus to help soften it. The Eucerin Roughness Relief really good also great for the elbows and knees 
The urea in this is a bit too strong, however, for the face. I know I always tell you guys that it's cool to use body moisturizers on the face, but you gotta be careful with urea creams. They can be too irritating for the face. There are facial moisturizers with urea in them. For example, the Wave Serum. For example, the Wave Serum from Regimen Labs. If you guys are not straight on there, sorry. Uh, this product has urea in it. I actually find that this kind of stings my skin a little bit. But yeah, my skincare routine is all done. I feel nice and clean. I can't imagine. I know people who like to shower in the morning, they go to bed without taking a shower. I cannot imagine doing that. I could not sleep without, you know, freshly clean skin. It's just nice to, you know, the act of bathing exfoliates the skin. Just simply being in the water and letting the water hit your skin. You're sloughing off dead skin cells in there. See, an advantage of bathing at night is you slough off some of your dead skin cells in the shower with bathing and everything. Even if you're not scrubbing your skin with like a loofah or anything, just being in the water exfoliates the skin. And that's nice because if you didn't do that and you get in the bed, you're gonna shed some of those skin cells into your bedding. And that is gonna be something that harbors dust mites, which can really aggravate eczema, by the way, if you have eczema. I understand that people like to shower in the morning because it kind of wakes them up or whatever. But seriously, if you were not showering at night, you were missing out. Anyways, yeah, there's nothing like a shower to really relax me at the end of the day. And there are three things that relax me. Shower, working out, and a good night's sleep make a huge difference. If I don't have those three things, I I get more, I feel more stressed out. If I don't, if I don't have the opportunity to work out at least consistently um, and shower at night time and get good sleep, I start to get a little bit, mm, <laughs> yeah, I start to get a little more, I don't know, emotional, moody. If I don't, if I don't have those things, it really helped me manage stress. It's all about the lifestyle factors, you guys. You can have the fanciest skincare routine in the world. If you don't have the lifestyle factors dialed in, it's all for waste. If you don't get good quality sleep, your immune system is going to suffer. You won't get, you won't be able to repair damaged collagen well or produce new collagen. You won't be able to fight off those free radicals as readily. It's all about the lifestyle, your diet, good quality sleep, managing your stress, and getting some exercise. You don't have to run like I do. I mean, that's something I enjoy. But you can, you know, walking, just moving your body on a consistent basis is so important for not only the health of your skin, but the, your total body. You see, your skin is such a powerful organ because it's like telling you what's going on internally. I mean, it's basically a window to, to, the, to what's going on inside. And many times when your skin is suffering, it could be an indication that you're not quite taking care of yourself the way you need to. Comment below, how do you guys unwind? Definitely check out Athletic Greens if you are in the market for a vitamin supplement. I highly recommend it. I've been super happy with it, just as a way to bridge those gaps in the day-to-day -day chaos. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. You know, if you're new here, I do vlog on the weekends. If you enjoy my vlogs and you want to check out more, on the next slide, there will be, I will link my last vlog. But if you like this one, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.